In this video, we provide the solution to question number 15 for the practice exam number one for Math 1060. And this one's definitely a fun one. Who doesn't love Pac-Man, right? So we see the picture of the iconic Pac-Man from the classic video game right here. And so, uh, you know, he, he sees super high graphic right here. He's basically a circle with a portion removed from him. So uh, if you see Pac-Man as this circle, then his mouth forms a central angle of said circle and that when his mouth is fully opened measures to be 55 degrees and so on our screen you know on the arcade game when we played pac-man if his mouth has a radius of four millimeters we then could use this information to find the exact area of pac-man when his mouth of course is all the way open i mean as you know pac-man he kind of opens and closes his mouth as he's eating things so we'll, we'll take his his open mouth in this situation. So how much yellow is gonna be on the screen? Clearly I've enlarged the picture for the sake of this video here. Uh, there's two ways you could approach this problem. One is we could find the angle theta uh, that gives all of this open area. So basically you take 360 degrees minus uh, 55 degrees. You can go from there. Um, I'm gonna just think of it more this way. The total area of the of Pac-Man, the total area of the circle would be area is equal to pi r squared, right? So this is going to be pi times four squared. This would give us sixteen pi millimeters, and we're not going to worry uh, millimeters squared, excuse me. So we're not going to worry about approximating this thing yet. Uh, we're just going to, of course, look at the area of Pac-Man. Uh, for the, the whole circle. And then we're going to subtract from it the area of his mouth. And so for this area formula, of course, we're going to be using the formula we've used before. The area of a sector, the area of a pizza slice is one half theta r squared or r squared theta, however you prefer to put it, where r is going to be the radius. We know that. So I'm just going to put the radius in there of a four. So we're going to get four squared over two theta. 4 squared, as we saw, was 16 over 2. Um, it's going to be 8 times the angle there. And the angle does need to be in radians. So that's a very important part of this problem. So it's given to us in degrees. We have to shift it over into radians. So if theta is equal to 55 degrees, we're going to multiply that by pi over 180 degrees, for which um, 55 and 180 do have a common factor of 5. 55 is 5 times 11, so you get 11 pi on top, and 180 is 5 times 36. So in terms of radian measure, 55 degrees is equivalent to 11 pi over 36. So put that in for theta right there. You're going to get 8 times 11 pi over 36, which again, we want to keep things as, as exact as possible, right? Um, we do have a common factor. Let's see, 8 and 36, both are divisible by four. Uh, so you're gonna get two times 11 on the top, which is 22 pi. And then in the bottom, you cancel out a four, they'll leave behind a nine. So the area of the sector, so the area of his mouth is 22 pi over nine. That's not the area of Pac-Man. So we need to take the total area, which is 16 pi millimeters squared. We're gonna subtract from that the 22 pi over nine. So that's where we need to finish this thing. We're gonna take 16 pi minus the 22 pi over nine, like so. Uh, I'm gonna take 16 times nine, which is 144, so that I have a common denominator, is all sits over nine. And then 144 take away 22, that's of course gonna be 122 pi over nine, and this would be millimeters squared. That would be the exact area of Pac-Man, in um, which case we're gonna also approximate that. This last step, of course, is not necessary for the test. Uh, the exact answer is actually the preferred answer for full credit. Uh, but if you did put that in your calculator, you would end up with 42.586 millimeters squared uh, for the area of Pac-Man.